So we just did a four stage progression of how we progress the hip thrust and I want to show you a hip thrust variation that I came up with and I've talked to my friend Brett Contreras about this and he likes it as well. So we know the glutes don't just extend the hip but they also abduct the hip and externally rotate the hip. So I figured why can't we bring that into this exercise. So this is a single leg version. So instead of just hip extension which is straight up I can also add some abduction and if I take this knee and turn it out a little bit that creates a little bit of external rotation. So no extremes. So basically what I'm doing is as I come up I go out at an angle. So now I have some abduction happening there and an external rotation moment at my hip. You really feel that contraction. So let me show you from this side using this leg. So instead of just straight up, I'm not saying we don't do this, we certainly do, but you can add this element in. So you see the difference. There's the traditional style, which is straight up. And this style, basically I'm thinking going in that direction with this knee out slightly. So a little bit of abduction at the top. You can feel the difference there. So if I wanted to add weight, I could put a dumbbell on this hip or the other hip. You can play around with that. You can add that into your progressions as well. It's just a, basically a small variation of a hip thrust. And you can factor those into the progressions that we showed you when we just did the unloaded single leg version or the loaded single leg version. And you can mix up the two just to tweak your workouts a little bit.